Never heard me speak before? Oh, whoa, most of you. That means I gotta clean up my act. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I have a full-time private practice in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, 60% or better of my clients come from physician referrals. And the other 40% come from word of mouth people that I've worked on. Uh, I have never done any advertising, I'm too cheap. And one of the prerequisites for you to be in here today, and, and I need to throw this out so that you can leave now if this is not acceptable, is that even though my jokes are lame, you are required to laugh at them. All right, just so we have that clear. Now, if you need to get in touch with me, my email address is hypnosis at B-H-A-M, which is the abbreviation for Birmingham, dot R-R, which is Roadrunner, dot com. It's two dots. That's one of my, my, uh, my neighbor uh, bought his three-year-old son a pony. And uh, I went over and I asked the little boy, I said, well, JT, what did you name your pony? He said, three dot. So I've got two guys, he's got three. <laughs> Today's lecture is on hypertension, high blood pressure. Now, a lot of people have come up to my table in the vendor room and they've asked, you know, how did I get into uh, working with high blood pressure? Uh, people who have heard me and who know me know that I have, I do a lot of work with irritable bowel syndrome and fibromyalgia. And I got into doing that because I had severe cases of both illnesses. Well, thank you, thank you. I have learned how to do this therapy. I don't have to have high blood pressure to learn to know how to relieve it. So I got into it though because uh, through my other work, I've become personal friends with a lot of the physicians that I work with. And they continually kvetch about all their patients with high blood pressure, hypertension. Uh, it's it's an overwhelming illness. And we'll get into the actual statistics in a little while. But uh, one of the things that you need to know is that, is that even though the majority of adults already have high blood pressure, within six months of going on antihypertensive medications, they quit. They quit taking their medicines. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but, uh, so blood pressure in this country and worldwide is uh, a looming catastrophe. And nobody is doing anything about it. Uh, but there's a tremendous amount of research. I, I knew in my own practice that uh, as I was working with clients, and we were getting their other chronic illnesses under control, most of, their, most of the time, their blood pressure came down as a result. So I thought, what are we doing here? What's happening? And if it didn't come down in, as a consequence of what else we were doing, it only took an additional section or two to get their blood pressure to come down and stay down. So I thought, oh, oh, bright idea. You know, when you see 150 or 200, it kind of dawns on you eventually, even me. So, so I started doing some research about what the causes of high blood pressure were and how it functioned and maybe what I could do that would make an impact.